Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to BYT. This is uh, my intro video, but pretty much the work I'm going to get done is all done. Not all of it. I'm going to get more done once I get down from where I'm at. Let me show you. So here on the back of the bus, I was working on this last rib over here. Getting the caulk from the bottom as far as I could. You know, I still have all this to work on up here. Uh, right there a little bit. More back there. And these here. So, while I was up here, I gave her her first coat of paint. And wow, what a difference. This oil based stuff kind of is really tough to work with. Um, runs are easy. Brushing is terrible. Don't do it with brush. Roller is the way to go. I'm going to have to use a brush of. Uh, around like the lights the front up around the lights on the front small stuff I'm gonna have to use a brush around which hopefully after it's all rolled with the roller uh, the brush marks won't be as visible or I'll find myself a small half inch nap but I had to stop here because I'm not finished caulking this and I have work to do back in here on both corners I gotta feather out that fiberglass on both edges so, there we have it. And I, I was able to caulk all the driver's side windows. The window sills. The window panes themselves have not been caulked and sealed. Uh, I, I have to go get some Windex and some towels and stuff to clean the windows inside and out. And caulk them inside and out. Uh, that's about the only way I figure I'm going to seal them. So, but yeah, there you go. First coat of paint. Done. All right. So, you see, all the way to the back. Got to come up here and brush around these edges. Around these edges. Here's the front. Got to brush around these, around here and around here. Clean off the little bit I got on the windows because no, I don't tape. I'll clean all this off. This all got to be fixed anyways. So, while this is a part, I can clean that off. Got all the way down. Got to brush around that all the way down. It slipped with the roller at one window on this side, and I think I did the same thing on the other side. So, all these frames, all this aluminum, is going to be cleaned and painted after I clean the windows and seal all the glass. These will be painted the same color as this. So, with this, this has all been sealed now. So, this will all be painted. This will all be painted. I mean, there's, there's portions of this that you won't get, won't get painted, like the inside, um, where this meets this. That won't be painted, but the rest of it will. You know, this will all get painted. This will all get painted. Even the tops, tops of the windows, they'll all be painted the same color as what's going on here. So the color scheme is this one color from here, Black Ridge, to the bottom ridge here. You see this all had to be cleaned off before that gets started getting paint. Um, but from here to here, so one, two, three, from where that, that third one to that one, that whole st strip right there all the way down. And I'm going to follow it around. It's going to come from here it's going to transverse this whole front, which is where you see my fingers. So I'll run a line, a straight line from there, all the way down and around. All the way down, around here, connecting back to this one. So this here will be three different colors. You'll have the, now we'll do the same thing for this. I'll run a string line across, even, let me close the door. So basically, from the bottom of the windows, up will be one color. That'll be one color. And from here to wherever this bottom one is, which will come straight across the door. It'll come straight across, straight across here, and straight across the front. This will be one color, and then the bottom half will be the same color as the top half. And then we'll have the white. So. That's the color scheme. I'm not giving the colors yet. 
because, you know, stuff like that can change in a heartbeat. But yeah, you can see where I hit the window a little bit there. And back there at the very back of the garage, I, I bumped the window. Wait till a little razor blade, paint dries, a little razor blade. Anything that drips, it can not going to get painted over with the other color. So, get the top painted, get the top finished, where I can get this dang thing dried in. That's why I'm working on the outside. I'm going to seal everything. I might even pull those lights off and reseal them, even though I know they're working. I might just pop them off, pop the gaskets, seal them, put them back in. Um, just like I'm going to have to do here on this front one. Right there, I'm getting, I'm getting new tier, LED teardrops. And I might even get the, the package where it's teardrop, teardrop, and three brand new lights. Um, I might take those off the, the aluminum pieces and polish them, clean them up. Or I may paint them. I'll get in there with a brush and paint them the same color as the stripe. We'll have to wait and see how it, how it turns out. So, first coat done, success. I don't know when I'm going to get to the other coat. Like I said, I, got, I have to clean every window, top and bottom, inside and out. Seal every window, inside and out. So, until that's done. I can't paint the next half, but I got to finish the roof anyway, so once it's all dry and I finish sealing up back there, finish up the very, very back of the Bondo glass work I have to do, I can get the top of the bus completely finished. And then I can work on this next, this next section, which is all the windows, both sides. And I can get a glass company out here, see how much they're going to charge me to replace this windshield. Put that back in place. Put the seal back where it belongs. While it's out, I got to clean the, that underneath edge right there. Getting a little bit of rust, so. I think that's it for today. See you in a bit. Alright, everybody. If you like today's content, please like, share, subscribe share share this thing you know somebody might learn something from my mistakes or something i'm doing may be easier for some people to do like i don't have a lot of money i can't afford to paper and tape every window but what i can't afford if i do get a drip or a mistake on it take a razor blade and scrape it off clean it up even the rubber uh, and the gaskets and the seals i can get in there a little bit of mineral spirits i can clean it up um the little, little thing I forgot to show you. Give me just a second. I'll just tell you. The inside where I'd clean the roof, the ceiling, to clean off my roller and get all, get every bit of paint that I can. I ran my roller dry on the three inside panels. The two front ones that were four inside panels, I'm sorry. The two front ones that are corrugated. Yeah, it left a speckle. It caused a, a speckle effect on the doghouse. Which is okay, because I'm thinking of maybe 70 shag carpet on the doghouse. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going in, I want to go industrial. My wife's okay with it. Stainless steel, this, stainless steel, that. Um, she says as long as she has her cabinets and everything works, and it looks good, she's okay with it. So, like I said, if you like today's content, please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. If there's something you think might be easier for me, I'd, be, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um... Whatever you're doing out there, you be safe. You have yourselves a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.